Hi, in this video I just want to show you how to add a login ad and some of the difficulties that you may encounter and how to get around them. So this is your dashboard that you'll get to when you've logged in. This is in fact the bonus pool. So this will be shared out amongst the members and you go to login ads. And as long as you've got some credit, then you will be able to add a login ad. If you haven't got credits, you can buy them by going to buy ad credits and you can buy them here as many as you want. But I've got a few credits there and they'll do for the illustration that I want to go through. Normally things will go quite easily for you. Let's suppose you wanted to advertise all in one profits. OK, put something in so that you know what it is. And then you would need to get the URL that you wanted to advertise, that you wanted to be displayed and people to be able to click on. So if you go to all in one profits and if you click on referrals and promote, you get various lead capture pages. And let's suppose I wanted to use this one. We would just copy that link address. We go back here, paste that in there, make that credits whatever you want it to be. Maybe you only want it 10, you only want to test it with 10, or maybe you want 100, whatever. And then you click on preview. And this is very, very important. Do not click this add button until you've clicked here because you want to make sure that it comes up. OK? because not all pages will display in a frame. And I'm going to show you how to get around that in a minute. But this one is OK. It's come up. No problem. We can close that and then we could click Add. That would then go to Admin. It will be approved within 24 hours and it'll be up there working for you. But let's suppose we want to, to advertise something else. And we were at this part here and we were here. And let's suppose it was on passive we wanted to advertise. We would then go to the on passive website and we could get a link to any of their pages. Let's just pick one at random. Let's say we wanted this one. We copy that link address and we go back here and we paste it in there just like before and everything's good. Yeah. OK. We just click on preview. We don't click the add button until we've tested it. So we test it and oh dear it's not showing. Is it the link that's bad? Let's have a look. If we open a blank page to the right there and we paste in that link. No, the link's there. This is what should have come up and it's not arrived. It's not there. So how can we get round this situation? Well, I'm going to show you what I would do. You may have other solutions, but I'm going to show you how I do it. The first thing I do is I take a an image of this page and you can do it either by clicking on print screen but it may give you more than you want but we can adjust it so I'll I'll do that that's easy print screen and then I'm going to use a free program called paint.net I'll give you a link to this and I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to keep the canvas size I, otherwise it's going to be huge and I'm going to have to resize things so I'll keep the canvas size. We need to get this so that it all fits into that canvas size. OK, now we need it a bit bigger and we don't really want these bits on there. We just want the page there. OK, something like that. There's another way you can do it to get there. And I'm going to show you what I would do with that one. I would use Snip and Sketch. Uh, it's a free program. It's on Windows, already loaded in your Windows back office, I think, you know, in your tools or whatever they call it there. So if that was the case, we could use Snip and Sketch and we click on New. And here we can just pick the bits that we want. Maybe we just want it to be that. So we've got that. We can copy that and we can, instead of having this image like that, which has got a little bit disproportionate, we could clear that and we can click on new and we can then paste. And there we go. We've got we've got the image there. OK, so we've got the image there and a lot of people may be prompted to click this button to see what it is. But we want to make sure that they're going to click. So it's good to put an extra message on there and you can do that with paint.net. If 
you select a rectangle and uh, let's put a message here and let's have it in red it's text and we're going to put it in there and we can say uh, here now to learn more we can tell them open in a new tab okay and maybe we want that to be centered and maybe we want it to be a bit bigger so people are going to read it and so we can pick different fonts we can find something maybe a bit exotic something like that one and it's still not big enough so we can change the size we can make it maybe 24 that's a bit too big 22 there you go so we can we can add that to the page you can do whatever you want with it and then we can save that click on the little save thing and um, we can call it on on passive we save it and i'm saving this to the desktop okay yeah okay right so we've got that we've got it saved and we've got the this as an image okay it's not going to have this effect but it will when they click because it'll take them to this page i'm going to show you how okay well you saw before that i'd got an, an aiop account and now i'm going to use something from their toolbox you get all these for, for just uh, 11.25 a month even if you don't refer anybody it's it's the best value i know of online for tools but i'm going to go and click on the splash page builder and i'm going to go to splash pages they've got tutorials in here you can watch they'll tell you all about how to use everything but i'm going to go to the splash page builder and i'm going to build a new splash page and uh, i'm going to call it something we haven't got there on passive okay and then i'm going to click on create splash page and i'm going to use this empty page so i'm going to click on that update template and go back to edit page okay and it's got me using that and i can put a site title in here i don't know that you need to do this but it's for seo if you understand that which is a bit beyond me quite honestly a i marketing and i'm not even going to bother with keywords and every time you do something you want to update the settings because if you don't it won't save so click update the settings now and that'll save that information that you've put in and it'll save the template that you've got and now i want to add a picture and i'm going to click on change picture and i'm going to go to loaded pictures and i'm going to upload that picture that i just saved so here we go upload your own pictures and i'm going to choose a file and i saved it to my desktop and there it is on my desktop and i'm going to open that and it's there upload the file and it's here okay you can see it there it is so now i've got that in there i'm going to want to get not that picture but the address so i'm going to click on copy image address and then i'm going to go back to change picture and then I'm going to go back to edit page and I'm going to just paste that address in here that's where that picture is and I'm going to click update settings because I want to save that information and the next thing I want is I want the actual link for that page the one that I wanted it to go to the one that I put into multiply weezer but it didn't come up in the frame so i'm going to go here and i'm going to get that link this is the original page i can actually close that down now and then i'm going to go back here and i'm going to paste that in so that's the link i want it to go to when they click i want it to go to that page so that they get that proper page and this is the picture that i want it to show and now I'm going to use a bit of code and I'm going to give you these bits of code. Uh, this one at the top 
is just purely to display a picture and this one here is to make that picture clickable and go to a particular link and that's what we want I'm going to copy that code and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that code in there okay now what I want to change is where this is going to so that's everything between those quote marks I want to get rid of because what I want to do is I want to put in my link here this is where I want people to go okay so I can cut that and I can paste that in between those quote marks so now that tells that me that that's where they're going to go okay it's going to open in a new page because it says target blank and the next thing I want to do is I want to change this picture here for this picture here okay so I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to paste it here and that's it and then I'm going to update settings and you can see it's in there and now if I click on view your splash page let's have a look at what it looks like well it's there but it's far too small I made a big mistake when I copied the code for the picture I put it right now but what I did was I went to this page change picture and I went to my uploaded pictures and I copied a link from here and that is a link for this thumbnail which is a tiny image which we don't want so what you need to do is when you added this picture it'll appear here and what you need to do is you need to click on that to get the full size image and then you click copy image address and that'll be the right correct address that we put in and then when we go back to our page and we put in the correct link it'll show as a big picture here and if you click on view your splash page you'll see it comes out as it should with a decent sized picture it says I'm invited by me it's the first ever never seen marketing technology which is 100% hands free click here now to learn more it opens in a new tab and you can see that wherever I go if I click it's going to open this up okay it doesn't matter where I go with my cursor the whole image is clickable now so it doesn't matter whether they click on on this or this or here or there it's going to do this and it's going to open it up in a new image and there they get to the splash page that we originally wanted with all the full information on it the PDF and everything else so now we have our image and what do we do now well we use this splash page that we've just created in place of the other one and where do we get the link from that we go to splash pages and it's this link here for unpassive the one we just created and we copy that so we've created a splash page here you can create all sorts of splash pages very easily i've made hard work of this because I'm not very good at things but even I can get there using this program so now we go back here and we go to our login ads and we can put in on passive and we can paste in that splash page we've just created and now when we preview we don't click add we always check it but when we check it you will see that it comes up okay it's produced the right page for us it's there it's in the frame it works we can now go back here and add that page boom and it's gone to admin for approval and when they check it they'll also check that it works in the frame and if it does they will approve it and it'll be there live getting you visitors okay so that's how to add a login page and this is probably one of the most valuable ways of advertising any opportunity is through the login page system okay that's it from me god bless